In my last video, I show you how to create interactive pie chart from pivot table source data. This chart is very useful when you have large enough space in your dashboard. If you want to create a smaller pie chart, you can easily create. But the problem is it's very hard to read the data label values. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create dynamic legend along with the value so that you can easily read the video. And it's also fully dynamic. For example, if I click on USA slicer, it will automatically update and the legend value will also update. If I click any other region, the chart and value automatically update and we can easily use this technique in many other area and this chart is useful when you have a little and smaller area in your dashboard. So look at the one I created in my project. So how we can create this chart in Excel as well as in Google Sheet. I will cover both methods in this video. Consider we have the same source data set. The first thing we need to create pivot table. I will click go to insert pivot table from table range i will insert this pivot table on a new worksheet for the rows field i will input it area and for the values field i will also input area now it simply calculate the count of it area we just need to right click and you can see show value as and select percent of grand total in this case we don't need the grand total so i will simply go to design grand total of the grand total for rows and column the next thing we need to click here type equal and now simply type filter function open parenthesis select all of the pivot table data set hit comma for the include parameter select the first column a4 to a8 not equal to empty close parenthesis hit enter now we need to convert these value to percentage so simply select hit percentage i will increase the decimal point up to two points if you click anywhere on this array and go to insert recommended chart, all chart, pie chart, donut pie chart, hit OK. This will insert basic donut pie chart. I will right click on format data series. For the donut hole size, I will set 35%. Hit OK. The next thing, I will click on the chart and go to select data. Here you can see horizontal x-axis label. I will click edit and the range is now D4 to D8. I will simply remove this whole range and select both of the columns. Hit OK. Hit OK. Okay, I will now click on the plus button legend and for the legend, I will click right side. So this is how you can create this dynamic legend. The only thing we need to sort these data label. So how we can sort these data label? I will simply go to my pivot table data, right click, sort, sort largest to smallest. Now, if we click on pivot table, go to pivot table, analyze tape, insert slicer. For example, I want to insert slicer based on region and I simply click any of the region. You can see my label has been automatically updated. So this is how you can create this dynamic legend by chart. And now I will show you how to create the similar chart in Google spreadsheet. So now we are in Google sheet. We have the same source data. The first thing we need to create pivot table. So in Google sheet to create pivot table, I will recommend to select all of the data like this. Click on insert pivot table and we will insert this pivot table on a new worksheet. And now I will simply drag the IT area on the rows field. And again, I will input the IT area on a values field. In this case, I will off the grand total. I will simply uncheck show total and I will also format this data in descending order. So I will simply click descending sort by count of IT area. The next thing I will calculate the percentage of these value, not the actual value. So how we can do it? If you go to the values field, you can see two drop down here. If you click on show as, and we will simply click here, percent of grand total. Now we get the percentage of our data set. Now I will write a simple formula here. For now, I will off the pivot table editor tab and I will simply type a very simple formula here. Equal, I will select the ID area, end percent, quotation mark, double space, quotation mark again, end percent. And now I will type a formula text. For the number, I will define B2, comma. For the format, I will simply define 0.00 percent, quotation mark, close, close the bracket for text function, hit enter. Now, if I drag this formula, it will calculate the result for all of the set. The next thing we simply click here, type equal and select the cell, hit enter and accept the suggestion. The next thing I need to insert the slicer for this data set. I will click on pivot table, go to data tab, click add slicer. I will move the slicer a little bit on a top. Which column you want for a slicer? So you need to select the column. In this case, we will select a region column. 
and now if i select any of the region for example i will clear this data set and let's say select usa hit ok this will filter out my data set for the usa and if i select any other region for example asia this will filter out the data set for asia but look at here we need to update this formula a little bit more to hide the zero as well so i will now update this function a little bit more i will click here space lift arrow key type if open parenthesis and i will select a2 equal to blank double quotation mark comma if a2 equal to blank then we don't want to see any of the video or result so i will simply write double quotation one more comma otherwise we want to display this function result close parenthesis hit enter and now if i drag this formula down you can see when there is no video the formula will return empty result now i will select all of the region and hit ok the next thing we need to select all of my data set click on insert chart instead of pie chart we want donut pie chart and now i will click on customize click on legend instead of auto you just need to select left or right side in this case i will select left side and this is how you can create dynamic legend in google sheet and now if you filter the slicer your chart will automatically update so this is how you can create dynamic legend chart in google sheet i hope you learned something useful from this video i will share both of the file with you if you like the video please subscribe my channel for more video and if you have time please share this video as well thank you so much